In this video, we will be casting a figure with a two-part polyurethane liquid plastic in the silicone mold we made in a previous video. We will use Shark Thane Hard Pro 7020, which has a mix ratio of 1 to 1. The shore hardness of the cured material is 70D. This is a hard material. It creates a white cast with almost no air bubbles. Mold release is not necessary when working with silicone molds, but it will help the mold last longer. Use rubber bands or tape to hold your mold together. We measured out 50 milliliters of part A and then added in 50 milliliters of part B. We will use a paint mixer which was purchased at Home Depot to speed up the mixing time. Do not use with more viscous polyurethanes as it will introduce air bubbles into the polyurethane. Mix quickly as the polyurethane will start to gel within 90 to 120 seconds. If you are making a large part, use several smaller batches. If not, the polyurethane may cure before it is completely poured into the mold. Pour the polyurethane slowly into the mold to allow the air bubbles to work themselves up to the top. Within a minute or two, you will see the polyurethane turn to white as it gels. The polyurethane will exotherm, meaning it heats up, as it cures. Here is the leftover polyurethane cured in the mixing cup. The cure time is 30 to 40 minutes. Work the part out of the mold once it has cooled to room temperature. Here is the finished product including the polyurethane that gelled inside the cup. Fully cured castings are tough, durable, machinable, and paintable. This makes it perfect for point of purchase displays, rapid prototypes, special effects, and sculpture reproductions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel as we will be putting up more videos in the future.